hello YouTube and welcome to another video from Fumbling Family Productions and today we are actually doing another episode in our series of getting to know us and today you're actually going to get to know me and Nanny so we're actually going to be here at the house um, uh, yeah, so I only have one more to film after this, and that is Sarah's household. But she actually was scheduled to do it today, but she had some stuff come up at her house, so we couldn't do her. So I thought, why not do us? So yeah, so today is getting to know us, getting to know Becca and Nanny. So to make this video fun, because, you know, we're the older ones of the family. <laughs> so... <laughs> We don't really do a lot of fun stuff. I'm actually going to make a southern buttermilk pie with a twist, and y'all get to watch me make it. So, yeah, let's just get started. Every single day, I'm going to make something great. That's my way. Every single day. So I just wanted to show you guys, I have got all of the ingredients together, oop my strap caught on something, all of the ingredients together to make this pie, so let's get started. Alright, so here we are, we are going to make a southern buttermilk pie, um, and I'm going to add a twist, like my twist. And the recipe that I'm using is totally not my own recipe. I'm actually getting it from my phone. Um, and I'm actually getting this from Spicy Southern Kitchen. Hey. Is the... Yeah. Yeah. And see, and then I have other children besides the children that you all have seen. This is one of them. This is Hey Hey. So... Let's go ahead and get started on this pie. And as I'm doing the pie, I thought it would be fun to just kind of do my interview as I'm cooking. Um, so yeah, so we'll just go ahead and do that. So the first thing that it says to do is to take the eggs, the eggs and the sugar, and whisk it together. So in a large bowl, whisk together eggs and sugar. So it requires three eggs. So let's go to crack those. Um, I wanted to start doing this YouTube channel because first of all, I think, you know, um, my family is amazing just as I'm, I'm sure all of you, you know, know that families are amazing. Just families in general are amazing. And I really feel like my family is really amazing. And I just kind of wanted to share it with the world. Um, for anybody that maybe, you know, is having a rough time or just want to be entertained, hopefully that's what we're doing. Is It's calls for one and a half cups of sugar. So hopefully that is what we're doing is we're just kind of maybe entertaining to watch. And so I really wanted to do that. I actually love doing anything with filming, like videos. One of my hobbies is photography. So I do plan on... and. Mr. Jackson lost most of our measuring cups, so this is a half of a cup here, and it calls for one and a half cups of sugar. So, there's a half cup. So, anyway, uh, I do like photography, and I would like to... Okay, Miss Nosy Kitty. She is the nosiest one. Uh, anyway, so, I do like photography, and I would like to take you guys on some of my photography shoots. Other things that I'm into is, and it says to whisk these, these together. Other things that I'm into is I actually collect reborn dolls. Um, we might do a video uh, sometime of maybe looking at my dolls. Um, and that's it, gaming. I love to game. N not so much gaming like Papa Bear, my son, he calls, I can't remember what he calls me, but yeah, it's because I go like games like Minecraft and Crash Bandicoot and stuff like that, so, but I'm hoping that we, I can get some gaming videos up for you guys, because I do like to game, um, and 
that's probably about it. That's what I told you. Us here, the oldest people in the family here, we're not very exciting. Um, I don't know what she's doing. Yeah, see, this is what I'm... Okay, well, she's eating the rag. Okay, she's done with the rag. I'm going to just let her sit on the back of that sink because uh, this whole video would be so, me getting now I'm back. I went ahead and got the pie crust, and I am going to go ahead and use just like something because I do want to go ahead and poke. Oh, I just cracked it. Well, it's okay. It'll cook back together. I just wanted to basically poke a few holes into the pie crust so it wouldn't bubble. So then it says next you're going to uh, add all the rest of your ingredients together. So the next thing you want to add is um, it's a half a cup of butter and it's melted and cooled. So we'll add that. Give, give that a little stir. Okay, and then uh, three tablespoons of flour. Okay. This is where I'm usually messy, so yeah, I'm really messy, y'all. I'm a messy cook. Um, I actually, I don't mind cooking, but I don't particularly like to. I think whenever you get to be like me and Nanny's age, and we just kind of, it's just the two of us here that lives in this house. We tend to not cook very much, but maybe that's something I could do on videos is whenever we are cooking something, maybe we can put on videos and share some of our recipes with you guys. Um, we do have some old family recipes that we tend to go to sometimes. Um, maybe we can share that with you guys. Yeah, that ought to be fun. So I'm just stirring in the flour right now. If I sound a little funny, I actually... Um, have been suffering like with a cold or something so I did get see messy 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 so um, I have been dealing with struggling with a cold and stuff lately okay stir in your buttermilk this is gonna be good for anybody that hasn't ever ate a southern buttermilk pie before it is actually really good I don't like drinking buttermilk that much. It's really, for anybody that hasn't even tasted it before, it's kind of sour. They okay, so get for anybody that has never drank buttermilk, to drink it like in a glass, it's pretty pretty sour. Um, you know, but it's really good to cook with. Okay, now it says that it also needs one tablespoon of lemon juice. So, they say if you roll your lemons like this, then it makes them more juicier. So, we locate something to cut with here. And I am just gonna cheat. I'm not gonna use the tablespoon because I'm literally just gonna kinda put my hand over this like this and squeeze. Because I imagine maybe you can get a tablespoon of lemon juice from one lemon. I could be wrong. I could be adding more. The lemon juice from the one lemon. I'm going to stir it up. Then we need to add one teaspoon of one extract. teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay. Okay. And then an eighth of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Now, we do not have nutmeg. I actually don't like nutmeg in anything. But to kind of compromise and make it like a buttermilk pie, I'm going to put in just a dash of ground allspice because allspice does have nutmeg in it. So just a dash. That's it. Literally, that's it. Okay? So you get this all stirred together and mixed up. Pinch of salt. I'm going to use, let me locate it here. I'm actually going to use fine Himalayan pink salt. And it's just a dash. So I'm literally just, that is not a dash. Blooper. It says to add a dash, so I'm going to add just a dash of the Himalayan pink salt. Just a dash is all I'm doing. There we go. And then we mix this up. 
All good. And then, and, and buttermilk pie is kind of like a custard pie for anybody that's had a custard pie or custard. And then here is my twist that I'm going to add to it. I'm going to add some Hershey's butterscotch chips. Oh, yes. Um, I'm not going to add a lot at all. At all, I'm not going to add a lot. Nanny already warned me I better not use the whole bag. So she said, don't add a lot. So she said, don't use a whole bag. Let's do half a bag. Yeah. Anyway, so you do that and you get all your ingredients mixed up. And all I did was add, you know, uh, just about a half a bag. I didn't add a lot. I'm just trying to give it a little twist, my own twist here. So then once you do that, you get it all mis mixed together and then you pour it into your, uh, this is actually a deep dish pie crust. <coughs> it is pre-made because I don't know nothing about making a pie crust, you know. Uh, so it's pre-made and you just pour it into your pie crust. Make sure we get all them chips mixed around in here. Hopefully they melt around. So we got all that. cooking so anybody on video that sees this and says oh my god I promise you we don't use this to put food food on but we do use this particular cookie sheet since it's messed up it makes perfect to add pie crust and this is going to be a pie let me tell you so now you go ahead and you put it in a 400 degree oven for 10 minutes and you turn it down to 350 and then you continue to bake it for another 40 to 45 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and get this going in the oven um, right now and then we'll kind of peek in at it and go from there. So hopefully it turns out anyway. You'll see us try it. <laughs> Good or bad. So I'll do that. We are back. And today we're going to do our interview with Nanny. Bye. So, <laughs> Nanny, tell us a little bit about, you are the elder of the Fumbling family. Yes. So, tell us what being the elder of the Fumbling family consists of. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one that... I gave up on giving advice to anybody. I gave up uh, on wisdom to anybody. So I'm just sitting here and I watch them fumble around. <laughs> what kind of things is it that you like to do? Well, I love, uh, I used to love cooking, but I can't probably stand very long with just my back. Yes, that's right. But I love crocheting, knitting, art, uh, painting, drawing, play, just any crafts. And you know, I think that everybody in the family it seems like they got something of your trait of creativity and artisticness, uh, uh, yeah. art, being artsy, you know, because um, everybody seems like they got a little different creative side to them. And I think that comes a lot from you. Well, I have noticed that. And I'm glad that everybody's got that because doing crafts and stuff like that, it keeps the crazies away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. Well, you don't have no problem being in future videos, right? No. Yep. Okay. I love my family, and I love being with my family. Yay! All right. Good deal. Okay, guys. So, we're going to... All right. So, I got the mess cleaned up from what I was doing, and I'm fixing to go ahead and turn it down to 350, and I thought we could take a little peek. That's what it's looking like. Let's see if I can zoom in. Sorry, this camera, like I said, it's not the best quality, but it is a way that we can produce some content for you guys. So that is the pie. So I got it turned down to 350. So now, sorry, making sure I'm not zoomed in. 
Okay, so now um, it's got to cook for 40 to 45 minutes. But I just thought I would let you guys in on another fun little fact of what I am doing right now. That way y'all can see what also is happening today on Fumbling Family Productions is I am in the process of uploading their very first video ever that we put out on YouTube. So I'm also doing that today. Um, I got the channel all set up. Well, I went ahead and <coughs> started us a um, Fumbling Family Productions uh, Facebook group page that y'all are more than welcome to go go join and all you got to do in order to do that is just go up to our when you go on our channel there's going to be a little link you can click on for twitter and a link you can click on for facebook and that facebook link will take you right to the fumbling family productions uh group page so i actually created that today and i'm actually uploading the first video so yeah y'all will have already have seen the first video though by the time you see this video but it's still an exciting day today about that, that it's our first official video being uh, published on YouTube today. So, yeah. So, when we come back, we'll be trying Southern Buttermilk Pie. All right. So, here is the pie done. Yummy, yum. Yummy, yum. Um, it actually uh, says that it, it doesn't say anything about cooling, but it's pretty obvious with it being a custard pie that um, we do have to let it cool a little bit. So, <laughs> I just pulled it out of the oven. Nanny's sitting here watching the Great British Baking Show. And uh, I think while I'm letting it cool for a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and go see Ash Key and Rin Rin. Okay, so, you know so I'm going to take you all along a gorgeous to do day. That. And it is. It really is a pretty day. Not as hot as it has been, but it, it is a little warm out. But yeah, I'm going to see if I could talk uh, Ash Key and Renan if they want to come try some pie in a little bit too. So yeah. So we're going to go in and see them. <laughs> you scared me. Did I? Yeah, so this is what, what they're doing. They are cleaning house and listening to music. What are you listening to? Okay. What you got? Show us what you got. Food. Well, let me let us see your food. Oh. Try some. Nummy noms. <laughs> All right, so we're going to hang out a little bit and let that pie cool, and we'll come back to try so it. So we just are a bit. back, and we are fixing to try the southern buttermilk pie. That is what it looks like. All done. So we are fixing to try that. So here's my piece, and we have taste testers. So I, I gotta be the first one, guys. Hold on. Okay, here we go. That's pretty good. Okay? We're gonna pan around. Yeah. Are we gonna take? Okay. I 
Good. Hey. Oh, oh wow. That is good. Mm. And Rin Rin. Butterscotch. Definitely taste that. All right, so I think that the Southern Buttermilk Pie with Butterscotch Chips, my twist added, um, turned out to be okay. It's not that bad. I mean, I probably would cook it a little bit longer maybe. It seemed like, I think we cooked it for like 45 minutes and it, it's like this. So I think cooked it a little bit longer. I think it's pretty good. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. I hope you all enjoyed uh, this episode of getting to know us and basically just getting to know um, me and Nanny. Yeah, a little bit about us. I hope you enjoyed watching us do the buttermilk pie. And if you did and you got to this part of the video, please give us a big thumbs up. And uh, make sure you go on down there and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I want to get this video up to 530 likes. So let's see, let's see if we if we can do it. Um, that would be awesome if y'all just give us a thumbs up and help us out and subscribe to us. And I will make sure and heart the first five positive comments in uh, comments in the comment section below. So um, yeah, so just be positive and be kind. And until we see you next time, bye. Bye. <sighs> Okay, here we go. One, two, and three. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm having a brain fart. Okay. Getting to know us. To, you know what? This is going to be a blooper because there is something on the lens. Or it's on my glasses. So, let me go ahead and check that real quick. Okay. So now, here we go again. What? Because it looks different when you're recording. Okay. This this will probably be like part of the behind the scenes. But as far as...